Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and tonight we're going to do this mirror bathroom vanity table made using Dollar Tree items and some other items as well. You can see um, some of our DIYs are on it, and I think it came out lovely. But if you want to see how to create this particular table, then just continue to watch. So the supplies you're going to need if you use all Dollar Tree items are 5 of 11 by 14 picture frames. You're going to need 24 packs of the Dollar Tree small mirror frames, picture frames. You're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a saw, either a hand saw or a power saw. You're going to need four 1 by 2 by 36 um legs you're going to need eight two by 36 pieces of mirror and those are the legs i was talking about the one by two by 36 you need four of those you need one 11 by 36 board and one eight and a half by 36 board those are the shelves you need a ruler Some wood glue, something to mark on the wood with, some liquid nails, a stapler gun that shoots both nails and staples. You can use the power one or the manual, manual one. And you're going to need something to cut your wood on. To brace your wood as you cut and, and I have this piece of um, of a pal pallet pallet <laughs> I'm sorry pallet so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mark um, your legs you're going to see how tall you actually want your table to be and my table is going to be 36 inches long so I have to cut I think it's like two inches off these boards that I found and the boards that I found were behind this furniture store and you can tell it was for packaging furniture because I had to take out all of those staples that you just saw out of the wood so um, I didn't sand it because I knew it wasn't going to be seen but I will say guys you should paint it you should do either the gold or the silver or whatever color um, you want it to be you should paint the paint it because what you're going to find what I found out is that measuring my um my feet out and then putting my mirrors on the especially the one inch mirrors they were short by a half an inch or so so you have that space at the top that of woods that's going to show so you, you you're going to need to paint your legs or spray paint them not all of them but you know that the parts that could be seen so as you can see, I gather all four of the legs. I measured them. I made sure that the line was evenly across all of them. And then I'm going to cut each one of them off. And guys, one of the legs, I think it's that dark color leg, I found has a, what I call a bow in it because it was outside. And of course, you know, when wood get wet, it swells. So I think that that's what happened. The wood swole on that one and it caused the, the wood to um, be a little bit warped. Um, and guys, when you're doing this part, make sure you have your safety glasses on and any other safety gear that you need to, to do this project. And guys, it, it, it is better if you have someone to help you. I did mine all on my own, so I had to come up with some clever ways to as you can see to put the table together um, I first put one of the legs on using the other legs and a serving tray to level out the actual table that we're making I'm hoping that this is making sense to you guys as you see and what I did was I used some liquid I used the liquid um, the wood glue and I used the quick fix glue and I used the, the um, the power gun the nail the nail power gun to actually secure the legs onto 
the top of the table. I'm hoping that if you're not understand what I'm saying, I'm hoping that you looking at the video and understanding it. So then you're going to have two braces on, two legs on, and then you want to put is the brace, the 10 inch brace that's between the two legs. It serves two purposes. It serves to stable the table and it serves as the shelf for the second layer of our table and we're going to do the same thing to the opposite side that we did this side we're going to put two legs on and a brace and guys i'm going to leave the um, measurements of this table down in the description box so if you want to go exactly about what i have but really it just depends on how big your bathroom is what you want so if you want the exact same table that i'm building here building here you have all the measurements down in the measurement in the description box so I'm just going to continue to cut these boards this is a brace this is one of the um, 10 inch braces that's in between the um, two legs like that brace right there is what I just cut and I said and guys I will recommend you have some clamps to clamp this um, your different parts down your legs together um, if you're working by yourself um, just come up with clever ways like I did to hold everything in place but we have our table guys and we are ready to move on to the second step which is um, actually putting our mirror on so I'm gonna start off by putting the one inch mirrors on from the picture frames from the Dollar Tree picture frames on the one inch side of the um, legs the legs are one by two by 36 if that makes sense and the um, Dollar Tree little mirrors are exactly one inch so that works perfect but when you get to the top you either have to cut um, some of the, the things in half to fill it in or do like I did which was to um, paint it or spray paint it and guys if you use Dollar Tree mirrors you're going to need two and a half for each each layer I think that's what I want to say <laughs> layer <laughs> but I went on and I went to Lowe's and I got a 30 by 36 piece of glass and I was able to get all of the pieces that I needed out of that one piece because I had to get them to cut the um, two by 36 is anyway because um, I didn't have any that was two by 36 and actually guys it's not two it's actually one and a half by 36 so I realized that once I had the two inch ones that it, it hangs over about a half an inch so I'm gonna I'm adjust the measurements down in the description box for you guys so I'm going to open up all of the glass that we need for this project and that's the measurements that I went by. I have to make some tweaks to some of them but I will leave it down in the description box for you guys so you can have it and it will be a little bit easier on you guys. So here I have um, a lot of 2 inch pieces of mirror and I have them cut to the length of each section. Um, so I had to cut the bottom parts and then the like the bottom part of the second tray. I mean second um Lord God, I'm so tongue tied. Like that right there, where I'm putting that mirror at right there. I had to do that. I had to measure those and get that there. And then on the top of that I had to put the two inch mirror there which it should have been one and a half but I'm just gonna say two inch because that's what I have and then I'm taping it off with the masking tape to hold it in place and then this is the 36 inch one that goes on the outside so it's actually one and a half by 36 but these are cut to two by 36 now remember I told you one of the legs was warped so this is what happened the leg was warped so when I put it in put it on and made sure that it was touching the top of the um, table it bowed it made it um, like angle inward now it's, it doesn't look bad like that now if all four of the legs were angled in it would be okay but 
um, because of that one leg, but I can't complain because the wood was free, guys. So I just um, put it against the wall where um, it will be out the way, and it's barely noticeable because the door is pretty much hiding it. And it's, and it's a little bit wider than one inch too because the one inch mirrors did not cover it completely. So then I put the um, 8 inch by 36 mirror down and I used the same thing. I used the liquid nails and I put the tape around it and I let it dry overnight. And now I'm going back in with the 1 inch mirrors and I'm doing the same technique that we did to the, um, the, the back of the, the one that we did for the um, toilet where we have the one that's sitting behind the toilet. I made that into a um, table as well as you guys recommended. And so I'm making a matching set to it. So I'm just placing the one inch ones around and get them correct the way I want them before I go in and use the, I'm going to use E6000 to put these down guys. And because I have them hanging over a little bit because the some of the glass is sharp that you get cut at lows so I wanted to make sure that it was a smooth edge that would touch someone's skin so I have the um, the one inch mirrors hanging off for probably about a half and not even a half an inch but just enough to cover up that um, rough edge of the, the glass the mirror that was cut and so I'm just doing that, placing them down, um, only putting the glue on half of it, as you can see, and then I'm putting it back down in place. And I'm going to do that for the upper and lower level. And once we do that, guys, we're going to be finished. We're going to have our finished product. And guys, it's, it, it seems like it's hard, but it really isn't. It's a very easy task to do if you have the, the right equipment, the right tools, um, the help that you need if you need it um if everything is right there for you that you can do this project in probably maybe two to three hours if that um not including drying time for the um mirrors each mirror so guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so i want you to rate comment subscribe like and share and so guys, you can look up in the upper left corner. You can see where um, the, the mirror is just a little bit wider than the legs. But for all in all, guys, for free wood, I think this table came out phenomenal. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm thinking about making another one. And of course, when you make the second one, it always goes smoother. So guys, I love you to the moon and back and back again. And... Um, Hello to all our new YT family members and don't forget to share, share, and share.